Everyone's talking about Armor 2.0 as if it's already here. There's still about two months left, so it's not completely redundant to still build out for year two and get some slay action going on. We're going to talk about Geomag Stabilizer today, how to build it out, how to optimize it. I take it through all the same stuff that I always have, mobility recovery and recharge rate, the three most important things up to date until Armor 2.0 drops. Then we'll be doing more tests, figuring out those numbers, figuring out what everything is worth, and building from there. So sit back, hit subscribe, become beast. Let's go into the Geomag stabilizers. There's still a ton of people who won't try mobility because of so-and-so's YouTube channel doesn't use it or whatever, so it must not be great. Well, if you've done Solstice of Heroes, whenever you get empowered, that gives you the strafe speed of 7 to 10 mobility, but the height is actually 12 to 13, so the height isn't the same, but the overall fluency and smoothness of the game is from that mobility. Now let's talk about the subclass, Ionic Traces. The more you kill, the more chance you have of getting these. They give you ability energy. We're definitely going to be building along this Ionic Trace. This is more of an added bonus, but Pulse Wave is also cool. You get wounded, boosts you in ally speed. And then we have the melee, a little bazooka on the hand that has an arc ball that blows up when it hits targets. Really kind of cool, but not the main focus here. More like Ionic Traces. Let's go over the armor, the mods, the stats to figure out how to build this monster and balance it. So it's going to be one mobility, two recovery, one grenade charge mod on your helmet. I prefer light reactor because I use fusion rifles, but if you don't use fusion rifles and want to build out for something else, completely up to you. I'm only going off of light reactor and pump action are the fastest supercharging perks. And then one mobility, two recovery arms, another grenade charge mod, eight second with that enhanced impact induction for each melee body hit or kill. And then I have a heavy ammo finder, but build it out for always what you're going to be using. That's just what I have on at the moment. And now on to the chest piece. Two mobility, two recovery, an impact mod. Build it out for the stuff that you're going to be using, as always. So if you're using fusion rifles, unflinching fusion, submachine gun, do a light arm or a submachine gun flinch. It's always completely up to you, as well as the finders and whatever, you know. On to the leg piece, the Geomag Stabilizers. One mobility from the that, and then the one mobility from the traction plus the hidden one equals the three mobility. If you don't understand traction, that's what it does. It gives you a hidden mobility point plus one you actually see on the armor stat. That's what to get you up to seven mobility. Use another impact mod, and then whatever finder you want to. I'm using the collection, so it just has that on there, but I recommend the collection. It's actually a really great roll to already have traction on it. So when you sprint, when your super energy gets to about the middle of the clip of your weapon, and you start sprinting, it tops it off. It says that it can add it from sprinting, but it doesn't ever work unless it's always at to where the numbers are on the clip of the magazine, right between that one and six. The stock length of your super when you're inside the Chaos Reach is four seconds. It actually goes to six seconds whenever you wear the Geomag, so you gain about six to six and a half seconds over the four that is stock if you don't have these Geomags on. That is, if you're always hitting bodies and doing some kind of damage, it'll last that long. That's what you have to do. And lastly, the bond. So your final impact mod, that's three impact mods, that's going to keep you head to head with your grenade all the time by getting ionic traces and three impact mods. It lets you keep up with the two grenade charge mods and the enhanced impact induction and the ionic traces. So keeping those coming head to head is kind of important. You always have one bouncing off of the other and then always recuperation over anything else, especially it pays off in harder activities such as nightfall challenge solos of 4.7 X and higher or raids or anything. Staying alive is most crucial. This wasn't a very hard build to figure out for a very lengthy video. You kind of see the charge rate and know what the Geomag does. 
That is your 718 killing machine. If you want to use that before the Armor 2.0 launches, then we'll be doing a whole new shrew of test, trying to figure out all the details and what's best in the game, what matters, and that's why you need to subscribe, Guardians. You can enjoy your game while I do all the hard work and legwork for you to figure out what is beast. Again, my name is Rostophilus. You can hit me up at teespring.com slash Rostophilus or paypal.me slash Rostophilus if you want to show any kind of donation support. Help our community grow. Thanks again, Guardians. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you next time. In space.